summertime is a season of the year where producers may find themselves in that situation where they need to uh, treat one or more cows in the herd for some kind of an infection, such things as eye infections that may start as pink eye, or uh, more commonly even uh, foot problems. Uh, foot rot often is a situ situation where we need to bring a cow in and, and give her the proper treatment. Certainly we want to caution producers about doing the right thing so that we avoid that situation where we may have a uh, residue that results in, in a carcass that could come from one of these treated cows. There's uh, basically four, I think, pretty easy rules to follow that will help us alleviate that potential problem. Number one is to have a good veterinary client-patient relationship. One where you work with a large animal veterinarian in your area that works with you on a regular basis and, and knows the cattle that you're working with. Number two, use pharmaceuticals that are only intended for the cattle that you have. For instance, there would be a difference in terms of the restrictions for lactating dairy cattle than what we might have for beef cattle. So make sure you're only using the right uh, kinds of pharmaceuticals and of course if they're prescribed that you follow the veterinarian's prescriptions to the letter. Number three, there will be on any of these approved products a proper withdrawal time. Such things, it may range from zero to, to 60 days before you can actually market that animal. Look at the label carefully, write that withdrawal time down and follow it. If, for instance, if it's a 14-day withdrawal time and you give that injection on August 1st, then it's August 15th before you can think about marketing that particular animal. And finally, and certainly not least, keep good records. This can really be helpful to you in case there is some kind of an incidence of an animal that you have marketed on down the line that might show up with a residue in the, in the tissue. If you'll keep good, solid, up-to-date records as to the, the kind of products that you give, when you gave it, the route of administration, the one on your operation that actually delivered the product, all of these things can be really, really helpful in case you have that rare incidence where they do find residue in some carcass of an animal that, that you sold. So, I really think that if you'll follow these rules, very, very closely. And if you'd like more information and would like to study this a little more closely, go to the SUNUP website. We've got a link there for the Oklahoma Beef Quality Assurance Manual, and it will give you a lot of information about preventing these kinds of situations and the kinds of records that you might want to keep for your herd. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.